What do you think your greatest life lesson has been? Um, I think for many years I had a uh, very, uh, oh my god, I'm the queen of failed relationships until I met my now husband. And I think what he has taught me, and that's my greatest life lesson, is that I am worth a lot. And it's okay to demand a lot and not be with someone who's not quite good enough. And see, now I'm with someone who's good enough and I can still, now I'm happy. It's true, I settled, don't settle. That's basically what he's taught me. And I haven't, see? I held out and I won the jackpot. <laughs> you just scored some points here today. He's <laughs> the best, I don't care. I say it to everyone. <laughs> Now, as the editor of Stir Magazine, which deals with the art of living, my last question is always, how do you define the art of living? The art of living? Yeah, how is it for you? I say moderation is overrated. <laughs> Louise, everything in moderation. I said, no, I'm sorry, mother, no, not for me. Or I wouldn't sing the way I do, and I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't be as exhausted as I am, but I wouldn't laugh as loud as I do, and I wouldn't drink as much and eat as much and cook as much, and who cares? Well, like Joe's brother has, Joe's brother is actually better at this than me, but he says, you know what, we'll sleep when we die. There'll be lots of time to sleep then. And I get caught up in getting everything done and being, Ah, oh, so wet. And then I sort of have a talk with myself again and say, you know what? It's now, now. So if you're having a good time and you feel like having another glass of wine, damn it, have another one. And don't say, oh my God, I've already had two glasses. Who cares? Who cares? That's my motto. And if you're going to sing a song, sing the damn song. Give it all you got. Okay, I think you have a lot of fans here in the audience. So I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of questions. So. Who has a question? Okay. What the heck have you got on your dream? That's the most amazing question. What do I have on underneath? What do you have on underneath? <laughs> well, it's very simple. It's just, uh, they're, yeah, they're see-through lace pants, but then, but then you wear sheer black stockings under them, and then it looks like then you don't see right through them. Yeah. And a little top like this, and then this. It's all on camera, you get it. The dress was cool, yes. I like that dress. It's a neat dress. So I try and wear the, um, the more difficult outfit in the first act so that I'm more comfortable in the second act. You know? Thank you. Thanks. Anyone else? Other question? What advice would you give for a young uh, female starting out in your industry? Oh, you know what, it's probably, oh, I don't know what I'd say. The main thing is to work hard, practice, keep at it. Do not uh, sell it short. Don't do the starting artist bold <coughs> attitude. Treat it like a business, because it is. And I think if I thought of it as a business sooner, maybe I would have gotten somewhere more quickly. We seem to be, we apologize for it because people treat it as something you just do for fun. Well, it's not. It's friggin' hard work. Yeah. And it's, sometimes it's fun when all goes well and you're in a show you love, but those are few and far between. The work is to look like you're having the time of your life even though you're not, you know? It's hard work. But when you do it, there is the chance that uh, you could go to that wonderful place where you think, you know, which is a chance that not a lot, not everybody has that, maybe, in their day-to-day -day work, you know? It doesn't happen every day, but boy, for those moments, I'm willing to put up with the tough crack, yeah, for sure. But yeah, it's a business. Treat it that way. Mm -hmm. I, I can pass it to you. What do you think, what do you think of our rose? Oh my God, it's beautiful, are you kidding? Holy! I sang at the uh, the Heritage, 
Wow. Uh, yeah, that, that was like four oh, yeah. years ago or something. Yeah. Oh that. my goodness! Yeah, this is so cute. Wow, we wouldn't. Have and everybody in the band was just—they were in heaven when they walked on the stage. Yeah. And, and the sound is oh my god, please, Great. it's beautiful, fantastic theme. Where and when are you and your husband doing this play that you did in Orange? Uh, Again? I don't know. We actually do a concert version of it. Hey, why don't you have us come here and do it? <laughs> yeah. We could. Costume, did you hear that? <laughs> there you go. See, maybe they're talking about it right now. <laughs> we'll come and do Could You Wait here. They're wondering when we're doing Could You Wait Again. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice? Yes. Yeah. Be great in here, sure. Louise, who's going to be your co-star in Annie Get Your Gun Again? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I forget the guy's name, but you guys are fantastic. Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Woo uh, I, that's who I did Annie Get Your Gun with. Yeah, that was an experience. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> it was fun though. Massey Hall, come on, with a whole orchestra on stage. Oh, I loved it. No, um, I don't know. Who would I like to do? See, my husband could play that role. He'd be perfect. He'd be perfect. Or it was supposed to be Paul Brandt. You know him, the country singer? Yeah. Country singer, yeah. yeah. And I think he would do a good job too. I don't know. I don't know who I'd cast him. I know Tom Wolpat. That's who I'd like to do it with. Okay, we have time for one more question. One more question. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Have you got a ride home, Louise? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my husband came. I'm so glad he came. Otherwise, yeah, I'd be here checking. <laughs> Thanks, Blair. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you so